Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. On occasion, I'm asked what I use to handle email. My answer at this point is Microsoft Outlook 2007, although I'm connected to an Exchange server, which allows me to uh, access all my settings remotely, including from the iPhone, although imperfectly from the iPhone. Uh, I can also share my calendar and task list uh, with other people on the same Exchange server, like Ponzi, my wife. Uh, and, and the reason I, I even tell you this right now is, well, number one, to answer the question, and number two, because I got an email, a top five list from Calgary Guru, a community member at large from live.perillo.com. And this is his, his top list on why he uses Eudora instead of Apple Mail. Now, Eudora is a program that's available not just for Mac OS X, but for Windows as well. In fact, I know plenty of diehard Eudora users. I called it Eudorka. And uh, I did for a long time because I just couldn't stand it. I mean, I used it for a little while, like way back when. And then as soon as Microsoft released Internet Mail and News, I was gone. I didn't, I couldn't even fathom using Eudora again. I couldn't stand its user interface. Couldn't stand it. So anyway, I'm going to share his top five reasons why he stays with Eudora version 6.2.4 instead of using Apple Mail. And he happens to be on Tiger which is, uh, um, uh, well, now it's a slightly older version of the Mac OS X operating system. Number one, images such as animated GIFs, etc., pasted into an email in Apple Mail get converted to TIFF when the message is sent. Why would this need to be done? It's a holdover from when it was a Next application, and on that platform, TIFF was a system-wide default image format. Apple really ought to rewrite Apple Mail from the ground up to clear out this Next legacy code. Number two, Mes Wait a minute. I'm glad it does that because if I see an animated GIF in my inbox, I, uh, I I don't like those messages. I also don't like emails that have background music. Don't really get those anymore, thank God. Number two, messages can only be plain text or RTF. Although Apple Mail can read an HTML message, there's no option to use HTML for composing styled messages. Another legacy from being the default email client for the next OS. Well, I'm surprised about that because Apple Mail finally has something like stationary uh, where you can style or theme an email message. But e email and HTML have never been uh, completely compatible. Uh, you know, Microsoft certainly has been taking a task for the way it renders HTML mail, especially in Microsoft Office or Microsoft Outlook 2007, which uses Office's uh, Word to render the messages in HTML. Um, you know, this is, a, this is another one of those long-standing debates. I still, to this day, send my email in plain text um, just because a lot of HTML stylings, uh, uh, the people can't write HTML very well at all. And uh, HTML messages can sometimes look junky. So I don't know if that's necessarily a negative. I'm going to have to disagree with a couple of these here. Uh, but good points. This is the reason why he's using Eudora over Apple Mail. Number three, speed. If you keep all old messages, Apple Mail eventually gets slower and slower. Eudora can be used even with tens of thousands of messages. Most power users of email continue to use Eudora for this reason. It's not hard to find users out there that will not use Apple Mail for this reason. Oh, you know, that's a, that's a good point. Uh, Outlook still uses a monolithic single file format, the PST, which can be problematic if the PST breaks while well, all your mail goes bye-bye, and then you have to spend like dozens if not hundreds of dollars on software to try to recover your messages. So uh, speed is a good reason to use an email client, most, most uh, certainly. Number four, no message formatting controls right in the compose window. I don't want to go to a menu command or use a keyboard shortcut to set a paragraph to be centered, etc. Eudora also has buttons for things like increasing and decreasing quote levels, bullet lists, insert a horizontal separator line, make selected text plain, and many more. These are all quick and easy. Uh, it's an easy way to strip uh, at the top of any compose window. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really use Apple Mail all that often. Uh, I have just to see what's available in it. I know you can customize the toolbar in the Apple Mail application as you can uh, in, to a certain degree in other mail programs. But if you get used to the way a certain program works, it is difficult to make the leap to uh, you know a, a completely different program altogether. Number five, is a, if a message has both styled text and images in it, it will get sent out as a doubled up message with a plain version, uh, at, in the plain text version, uh, of the body first and then the styled message together in the sent message. 
Eudora gives me the option of sending it as styled, plain, or both. I can't find an easy way to send you messages out as styled only in Apple Mail. It's maybe not easy to know this is happening if you just send yourself a test message in Apple Mail, but this is somehow, or this is how someone on a program such as Eudora will receive your messages. Well, again, he's referring to the Apple Mail on Tiger, which, you know, does not have the HTML that the new Apple client, Apple Mail client in Leopard does you know, with its new uh, stationary styles for emails. As far as sending a message in style, plain or both, I think that's a very power user thing to think about. Um, most of these items on the list, I think, are, are really speaking to Calgary Guru's uh, real power user nature. In fact, at the end, he includes a screenshot saying, check out some of the control you can get in Eudora, uh, specifically built for power users of email. Uh, no doubt, Eudora is, is a very powerful client. It's been around for quite a while. But I, I, uh, I'm curious to know, uh, is this enough to keep a lot of you guys on Eudora? Uh, in fact, Eudora has recently announced that uh, as it moves forward, it's going to be using Thunderbird as its uh, basis for the mail client. And Thunderbird, of course, is released by the same people who give you Firefox, the Mozilla Foundation. Uh, Thunderbird has kind of fallen to the wayside and only up until recently has, uh, has people has people. Have people, boy, I need an edit command in my menu bar somewhere. Uh, delete, 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 undo, undo, undo. Um, you know, Thunderbird was uh, was ignored and only recently have people come forward and said, uh, you know, we're going to reinvestigate uh, building this app, uh, you ma making it stronger than it has been in recent years to keep it competitive. So Thunderbird, uh, I'm, I'm really going to be keeping my eye on, uh, not just on uh, Mac OS X, but on Windows as well. Uh, you know, that's something that I'm always watching for, always looking for the best email program, and I just keep going back to Outlook, and I know you think I'm crazy for it, but, you know, for years I was using Outlook 2000, finally made the leap to Outlook 2007. It took him seven years to release something that I thought was even halfway decent or better than what I was using before, and even Outlook uh, is still continuing to suck um, at different levels. Entourage, of course, is Microsoft's mail client or exchange client for Mac OS X. I have high hopes for that as well when the new version is released here in a, another month or two. The, uh, I've seen a few screenshots, and I'm concerned. I've seen some initial reviews, and uh, I am, am uh, curious to see if they are going to um, fix any of the smaller issues that seem to be apparent in the next version of not just Outlook but Entourage on OS X. I don't know, maybe I'm going to be switching to just using email completely and utterly on the web. I can do that with Exchange. I can use Outlook Web Access and get to all my messages from the web. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to starting to use web mail uh, for email as soon as the speed is there, and certainly the consistency. I use email all the time. I live inside of email. Just curious now, what do you think? Is it Eudora for the win? Apple Mail? Thunderbird? Uh, uh, Entourage? Microsoft? Outlook? What do you think? Just curious to know. If you have a top five tip, maybe about email in general, you know whether it's client based or not, I'd be curious. How do you use email? Do you use HTML mail? I don't know. What, what, what's on your mind? Uh, you can email me, chris at perillo.com, if you have a top five list or not. Uh, I will read your message. I may not respond to every email I get, uh, but I, I do get hundreds of emails a day. And so my responses, if I do send them, will probably be short and sweet. If you get a two-word response, that is 50% more than uh, you might get. Sometimes I just respond with a smiley face. Uh, I like email. I do. I just can't respond to everybody at length. Uh, so, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a response, a follow-up comment, a video response if you want. Uh, and you're also welcome to swing by our chat room, where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that is, as where Henry says, and Tall Guy PC, and Snake Eyes 11, and Yolinda. Okay, guys, uh, we're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.